Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, the Islamic takeover continues today with Sherman Burgess, a former far-right activist from Australia who protested against Islam and now became a Muslim as well. Guys, the only thing I can add to this is Allah guides who he wills. With no further ado, let's have a look. We are on the Mail Online homepage. Far-right activist who protested against Islam becomes a Muslim because it is anti-woke and the West has lost its way to alcohol, drugs and Porn. This is the headline and I can absolutely relate to the statement of course. Back in the day when I started looking into religion after living my life having a good time, I understood that there was something deeply wrong with this society. So I started analyzing and I understood that the missing piece is God. Naturally, coming from an orthodox Christian background, I returned to orthodoxy and I believe that this will fix the issue. However, looking at the Christian world, especially the Western Christian world, World, I came to the harsh realization that Christianity was unfortunately not able to fix those issues of degeneracy. Because it was that very institutional Christianity that allowed secularism to happen in the first place. Once I understood that, I saw that this system already has failed and could not fulfill the promise it made. Then after admitting defeat, I gradually looked into the enemy's territory, so to speak, and I understood that Islam ticks all the boxes and fix all of those problems. One of Australia's most outspoken anti-Islamic activists has become a Muslim, claiming the West has lost its way to alcohol, porn and drugs. So now they're basically repeating the headline, but yet again it's crucial because alcohol is not prohibited within Christianity and therefore you see so-called Christian countries, which are secular countries, consuming a ton of alcohol alcohol. Sherman Burgess became a controversial national figure for his role in the far-right groups United Patriots Front, Reclaim Australia and the Australian Defense League over the last decade. Burgess once likened Islam and Muslims to a cancer and organized a dozen of protests alongside self-declared neo-Nazis Blair Cottrell and Neil Erickson. This is of course a very bold claim if you look into the history of Australia. I would kind of understand this claim if we talk about countries such as Germany, France, Denmark, Sweden or what not. But if you look at Australia and now you're talking about the Muslims being the cancer, how about the British that went over there and colonized the land? Wouldn't this be the actual description of a cancer? He was involved in 2015 anti-Islamic protests against the construction of a mosque in Bendigo, Victoria. But when you scroll down here, you can see him still a self-proclaimed heathen, still a self-proclaimed neo-nationalist. However, he got in contact with the Muslim freedom movement leader Yusra Rose on the left-hand side and she apparently was instrumental in providing him a clearer outlook towards Islam. Let's continue. He still describes himself as a national socialist on LinkedIn, but the former far-right figure has since converted to Islam, claiming it is the only religion capable of countering the so-called woke agenda of the world. West. The West has lost its way. People are depressed and try fixing all life's problems with alcohol, drugs, porn, sleeping around. He wrote on Facebook yesterday. So yet again, I absolutely agree, of course, that the West has lost its way. Or moreover, we could say that it was a downward trajectory anyways, looking into liberalism, capitalism, etc. And therefore, we are just at the end of that game. Now we see truly the face of this Western movement. We see how it plays out. We see that it is a failed experiment, of course. Nevertheless, yet again, he mentions alcohol, drugs, porn, sleep around as a fix 
for their life's problems and he's absolutely correct here of course once you see it you cannot unsee it people trying to mask their symptoms but of course there is a deep underlying issue they are lacking god and unfortunately the all-loving representation of the meek god of jesus christ dying for our sins oftentimes does not instill the fear into the hearts of the so-called believer because people truly believe that they will get away with anything after all jesus died for their sins no however in islam there is a fear of god instilled into the heart of the believer and this should keep you on the narrow path islam rids you of all of this and allows you to have meaning again burgess confirmed to Cricky that he had taken his shahada an arabic term for an islamic oath and had been welcomed by his local mosque this is of course the beautiful irony here he was protesting against building mosques but then after all he takes his shahada in a mosque the muslim community is so kind and amazing if you need help they are there he told the website burgess a former council worker for the blue mountains in new south wales absolutely beautiful i visited the blue mountains was a member of a metal band eureka brigade which penned the violent anti-muslim song border patrol according to abc news the lyrics advocated burning mosques and called the cronola riots australia's muslim hot the band also had a song entitled Sh on the mosque classy burgess ran a facebook page called the great aussie patriot with almost 30,000 followers until he took it down in 2015 after followers mocked him okay he once published a video on the page in which he likened muslims and islam to cancer according to the online hate prevention institute this isn't an attack against our governments this is an attack against us the people he said about islam they the muslims are already overly highly represented in crime statistics in this country so we have to look at if this is what we are receiving now with 500 000 of them imagine when we hit the 1 million mark we cannot afford to sit here until the problem becomes uncontrollable and we cannot get on top of it so this is something i can emphasize with actually i grew up in germany and it is really the case that most violent crimes are committed by foreigners coming from a muslim background this is just a fact truly and the same happens in france of course or in the uk and apparently in australia as well i haven't checked the numbers for australia nevertheless that being said it is of course curious and very strange that we see those violent takeovers coming from so-called muslim immigrants of course this has nothing to do with the religion itself once you start looking into the religion you understand that such acts of violence are of course prohibited but nevertheless the immigration issue is truly a problem here and of that the governments will have to take control so here we can see Burgess already shaved off his mustache, mashallah. <laughs> in 2015, Burgess said the Muslim community had a duty to clean its mosques and stop radicalization. He reportedly quit the UDF after members of his own movement mocked him. Now he regularly exalts the virtues of Islam, claiming the Western values are degenerate and left-wing. This comment here is a bit confusing because what does it truly mean to be left-wing? Degenerate? Yes, we can absolutely agree. It is truly degenerate what is happening in the West. However, left-wing, right-wing, those are just sides of the same coin ultimately. Don't you understand that those are both flawed political systems? Islam is neither left nor right wing. Burgess told Cricky that he switched his beliefs after witnessing the strength of Australia's freedom movement, the anti-vaccine, anti-government, conspiracy-fueled activism that emerged out of the COVID-19 pandemic. His meeting with Muslim freedom movement leader Yusra Rose was instrumental in providing him a clearer outlook towards Islam. Ms. Rose, also known as Yosra Al-Yatim, is a candidate for the anti-vaccination informed medical opinions party in Bankstown, New South Wales, in the forthcoming state election. Burgess told the website that former UPF members attacked him online when they found out about his conversion. Many of them were heavy booze drinking alcoholics and degenerates, he said. I like the health aspect of Islam. 
how they train hard and refrain from alcohol and drugs. Yes, absolutely. It circles back to alcoholism and drugs. If you look at so many so-called neo-nationalistic movements, most of them, not all, are alcoholics. They're getting together, drinking alcohol, and then they're shouting how bad foreigners are. But what do you have to offer? That is really my question here. Think about it logically. What do you have to offer, truly? Sitting in circles, talking about how bad it is, and drinking alcohol. That's not a solution. You're destroying your body. On top of that, most of them, they are into criminality themselves, and they are tattooed as well. You are filthy degenerates, and you're not offering a solution here. So here we can see him in the gym. Burgess captioned his recent photo. Allah has granted me wings. <laughs> Hard training and discipline in Islam has paid off. Burgess is trenchant in his anti-LGBTQ views, describing homosexuality as evil. He regularly shares videos from controversial YouTuber and former kickboxer Andrew Tate, the self-styled king of toxic masculinity. Tate, a self-described misogynist and man's right influencer, is currently being held in Romania on suspicion of rape and human trafficking. Last night, Burgess posted a long rant on Facebook complaining that people from all across the entire political spectrum were criticizing his conversion to Islam. The Nazi men are losing their minds, calling me a traitor and upset because I'm not drinking 24 beers on the weekend and screaming about making Australia for whites only, he said. He has been vocal about his belief that Islam is the only religion capable of countering what he believes are the sins of the West. He posted on Facebook recently, It is not Muslims you fear. It is parting ways with Western degeneracy that you fear. Islam is here to return the West back to purity, bring back family values and healthy, masculine, brave male youth, feminine, modest and beautiful female youth. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Congratulations to Sherman Burgess for converting to Islam, of course. Reading this article, however, I have a little critique. I haven't talked to Sherman personally. However, the impression that I got here by reading this article is that he's still very outwardly focused. He's still looking at his country. He's still looking at the West, and he wants to change them. But ultimately, Islam taught me personally about balance. I was very extreme my whole life. Life. I was into extreme bodybuilding, I was into extreme partying, I was into extreme dieting, into extreme fasting, into extreme spirituality as well, which led me to the Amazon jungle, drinking ayahuasca with the shamans and whatnot. I was a very extreme figure and in many ways I can say thank God for not finding Islam earlier. I know this sounds strange to you, but coming from this extreme background myself, I would have become an Islamic extremist. Absolutely. I would have joined ISIS or whatnot. I was so extreme in my worldview. There was only black and white. There was absolutely nothing in between. And therefore, I'm so grateful for finding Islam now when I'm 35 years old, already married, already a father. Now I can truly see that there is a beauty in Islam that teaches balance as well, that teaches to not to go to extremes. And of course, there is a mystical aspect to Islam as well, where we focus on the inward, where we focus on to ourselves and this taught me so much because I ultimately let go of trying to change anybody. I do understand him being involved in politics etc. This is his background and of course he will still try to fix the outside world. He will of course still try to fix Australia, try to fix the youth etc. etc. And of course we all have that desire as men. It is normal once you recognize that there is so much degeneracy you want to make a change. But ultimately we have to realize that this change only comes when we change ourselves, of course. And changing ourselves is not about extremism. It is about balance. This is what it is to truly walk the straight path. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Let me know if you liked it. If so, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below, guys. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.